Now we are moving on to conveyance problem number four. This is on page 70, 72 of the AAPL study guide. Um, and I just want you to be aware that what you're being tested on here is how well you can read an instrument and what the different meanings of and how critical the wording is in an instrument. So let's just start with reading this together. And it reads, Adam owns an undivided 50% of the minerals under section six. So I'm going to make a note of that. Adam owns a 50% mineral interest. So Adam owns 50%. Okay. And then uh, that's under section six. And then Adam then executes a document. Now here's the key word language. He executes a document that, quote, grants an undivided one quarter interest in the oil and gas in, on, and under. Okay. So right away we know this is going to be a mineral interest, not a royalty interest. A royalty interest would say produced and saved under the following described land and then township one north, range one west, section six all to Baker. So A is conveying to Baker a undivided one quarter interest to B. Okay, so what then, uh, first of all, the first question is, what is being conveyed? And they want to ask you now, is this a mineral interest that's being conveyed or a royalty interest that's being conveyed? Again, royalty would say produced and saved. This says in, on, and under. That's our indication that this is an actual sale of minerals. If a productive well is drilled on this land, does Baker have the right have the opportunity to participate as a working interest owner if he does not lease. Now, what we're getting at here is if this was a royalty interest, a conveyance of a royalty interest, B would have what we call a non-participating royalty interest. But this is not a mineral, uh, a non-participating royalty interest. This is a mineral interest. And because he owns the minerals, he has a right to participate as a working interest owner. So he has the option either to lease it and let an oil and gas company pay the millions of dollars required to put the uh, drill bit in the ground, or he can pay for his share of that if he likes, or wait till the well pays out. So the answer to this question is, if a productive well is drilled on this land, does Baker have the opportunity to, to participate as a working interest owner if he does not lease? And the answer is yes. It is not a non-participating royalty interest where you cannot participate. It is a mineral interest where you can participate. Now we want to know what are the interests of the parties. Now, this is where the language comes in very clearly. If we believe this said a 50% interest of my 25% interest, That calculation would be a 0.50 or a half, and then times, remember of means times, 0.25. That means each party would get a 0.125 is what this comes out to, a 0.125. But that's not the way this instrument reads. It doesn't say of my, it says an undivided one quarter interest. So what A is saying is I'm, I have 50%, I'm conveying one quarter interest, okay? So that I no longer will have 50%. B is going to have 25%. That's the one quarter interest that's being conveyed. And that leaves A with the remaining 25%, so that they both equal to 50%. Okay, now if he said 50% of 25%, we'd have a different answer. But he's not saying a quarter interest of my interest. He's saying I'm conveying 25%. That means B gets 25%. And since he only owns 50%, that leaves him with the remaining 25% which equals a total of 50%. So the interest of the parties are, Adam then owns a 25% mineral interest, 
and Baker owns the remaining one quarter, 0.25 or 25 percent, mineral interest. Okay, now let's move on to conveyance problem number five. 